So everyone wants fast results in the gym, right? How about I give you six fitness hacks? Yeah, great hacks, everyone loves hacks that you can use to accelerate your gains. I think it's that time again. Cue the intro. What's going on guys? Gabriel say aka The Truth and welcome back to Teach Me Tuesday. What's up? So first let me point out that there's no magic process to this. These are just tips that will get your mind right for one and help you to maximize the gains. There isn't magic pills, magic hacks and stuff, but they're very effective tips. So without further ado, let's go with tip number one. It's all about your environment. So let me elaborate on that point. I've trained at many gyms and there's always different types of people, there's always, and there's always a, a certain culture that comes with certain gyms. None of them are like bad as such, but to progress in your own growth, you need to kind of acknowledge what is happening and get out of there if you need to. For example, if I go to somewhere like, I don't know, Bank Fitness First, Bank in London, but this is when I was like working in Liverpool Street. If I go to that fitness first, there'll be people in there that I will go and on a bench press or let's say squat. I go and squat 140 kilos, which is, you know, minor for the max that I can actually do. And because they haven't seen it, I'm like the big fish in the small pond. So they think it's amazing. Then they start gassing you up and they're like, oh man, you're so strong. If you're not careful, that's going to mess up your mentality moving forward for everything else because then you think that that is awesome. So then to be awesomer, you only need to hit 150 kilos. Whereas as a matter of fact, you know that you can hit 200 plus. So me personally, this is people that I've spoken to as well. My training partners, other people that kind of think on the same wavelength as me. I prefer to be the small fish in a big pond. I'd like to be a small fish in the flipping sea. I want to be washed away. I want to be motivated to lift as much or heavier than the other people that are lifting big boy weights. And I'm not going to gas them up. They already know that they're lifting big boy weights. I'm just going to watch and I'm going to use that as my own fuel for my fire to be the best that I can be. It's so easy to get caught up in, in that kind of thing because it feels good. It strokes your ego and stuff, but ego is the enemy. Tip number two, training partners. Training partners can either be a hindrance or they can be a benefit. Training partners can't be taken lightly. This is like finding your lifelong partner. This is like you're, you're gonna be glued to this person forever. That's how you need to treat it as a training partner because they need to, you need to be searching for certain qualities that assist your workout, not take away from it. To be honest, there needs to be some kind of like Tinder for training partners. Can you imagine it? Uh, doesn't train legs. Swipe. Train. Trains chest on a Friday. <laughs> Do one, mate. <laughs> but it takes me a very long time to find the right training partners because you've got the ones that just talk all the time. If I'm to talk about the perfect training partners at the moment is imagine, imagine if you went to the gym with three other people, so there's four of you training. How long do you reckon that workout would take? I'm guessing most of you are gonna say, I don't know, put it in the comment section, but I'm gonna guess three hours, four people. I'm gonna guess it will take about three hours for all of you to get through a, like, flipping decent training session. Four of us, we get through a training session in one hour, 30 minutes, tops. Because as soon as I finished, I'm like, P1, go. As soon as P1's done, Marky, it, go. It's just a revolving door kind of thing. So we can still have our jokes. And sometimes if there's ex if there's machines free, we'll split. And then if it's the same machine, we'll do like two people be there, two people there. And it's just circulating like that. So we can still have jokes, we can still have fun, but we're still, getting the job done of the, the reason why we're there. You get what I mean? So be very careful with your training partners because some of them will just drain your energy and pull you down. The crab kind of theory. You know, you're trying to climb out, the other one, you know, if I, yeah, they, they come back in, mate. Yeah, you're not going anywhere. Number three, get mad, go lift. That's what's up. You just like, just get angry, take you back. Back to when I was living in Bristol. The girl I was with at that time, she was, Flipping headache all the time. Meh, 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 meh. Hey, meh, 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 meh. I used to get so angry that it would fuel workouts like to Super Saiyan levels 50 million. Slightly exaggerating, but it works for this story. <laughs> and I, I would be able to just lift and lift and lift and lift and lift. And it just, because that adrenaline, that 
rage and mo a lot of people train because they want to vent frustrations, right? If your manager has pissed you off, anything, I just think of something that has just, just angers me and I put everything into the weights. Get mad, go live. <laughs> the next tip is the eagle mentality. This is the reason why I have the eagle on my True Beast clothing range. Because the eagle, you see it soaring, it's all nice. Mmm, yes. Laughing and joking in the gym. Mmm, yes. As soon as it's his time to attack, fierce. He swoops down, bang, gets what he wants. Have the time. Like when we're, when we're off the exercises and we're rotating and stuff like that, we're waiting for the other person to finish for us to go on. Yes, they can be laughing and joking, but as soon as it is time for you to go, it's go time. Headphones in, world off. Get them gains. Be the eagle, mate. The eagle. Then the next tip is base your workout off of compound lifts. Compound lifts, for those of you that don't know, a lot of you might be new to the channel, new to fitness, is like multi-joint movements. Things that work more than one thing at the same time. So you've got bench press, it will hit your triceps, it will hit your front delts, it will hit your chest mainly. And then you've got squats, which is squats? Squats, which will hit your quads, your hamstrings, it will keep your lower back tight, it will brace your core, all of that kind of stuff. Compound lifts. Because I see a lot of people fanning about with like, um, I don't know, cable finger curls and then, and then shoulder twist curls and, and isolation on the on the, the forearm before they go and do like the main lifts. And I'm like, you've wasted all that energy when you could have just done the compound lifts, which is the foundation of your physique. That makes sense. Then the final two kind of like little add-ons are your micronutrients. So for those that don't know, that's your vitamins and minerals. A lot of the vitamins and minerals that you need assist with your muscle growth. So be mindful of your micronutrients. Get that veggie in, get them, them like multivitamin tablets and their cheese. And stretching. Stretching is one thing that I neglect sometimes. I think a lot of people neglect because it takes a long time to stretch. But stretching just opens up so many doors. It stops a lot of injuries. And I wish I did it more back then as much as I'm doing it now. But that is it. Six hacks that you can use to make some gains a little bit faster. Get them, get them muscle gains. Take off your top at the beach. Not if you're a girl. Not if you're a girl. Don't, don't, don't say that Gabriel said you should be nude at the beach. That's, that's... But anyway, that's it. If you liked it, hit that like button, smash it if you want to. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll catch you on the next one. That's what's up. Peace. Whipping excursion. I got a pick of that person. In the trap. Whipping that worker. You know a gangster, you're just an internet version.